good evening is gray matter look um i got a lot to talk about at first i want to start off with this shit let's just let's just get into this and play this video and being honest man that was it man like for me it's some women no matter how hard they try just won't they won't measure up and even and and and, and that's the like for me it's like you got to make sure that that woman is capable of doing that and if you see long term that's not gonna happen no matter what the circumstances around she can be the, the best submissive following if she's not able to meet the criteria or the standard that you have for her then it's just not gonna work out and it's best to be honest because most men what they'll do is that they'll just go behind her back talk to whoever and and, and, and dog walk her just that way and, and and i just don't think that's i don't think that's right at all so all right, listen to what this man has to say. Like I said, like I said, I'm, 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 like I said, I'm different. You know what I'm saying? So when I go about doing stuff, you know, it's little. What I want y'all to do is pay attention to the reaction of these women. It's a little different for people to kind of adjust to. You know what I'm saying? But you know, like the woman that I talk to now, you know, we're here in. You know what I mean? But I don't have no, no, I have no issues with this woman. Absolutely none whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? And she'll do anything for me at the drop of a hat you know what i mean like my birthday was yesterday you know what i mean she got my grandma hey, happy birthday big dog Appreciate happy birthday. It, Appreciate it. you know she got my grandma my grandmother out of the house you know what i'm saying and my grandma don't go nowhere she don't do that you know what i'm saying she, she was able to get my grandma to, was able to get my grandma to come out of come out of the house for me you know what i'm saying like she make big moves for me and she, she willing she's ready to do whatever it takes you know what i'm saying i'm in the process of getting my cdl I'm going to Texas to drive flick for my cousin, and she willing to stay here and, and, and do what do do what the blueprint says. You know what I mean? But that's just because I've been honest with her about it. Absolutely everything is nothing that I don't tell her. It's nothing that we don't talk about. You know what I'm saying? That that I feel like that's the key for me. Five years, five seven years ago, you wouldn't have got the same thing out of me. So I know yeah, what my. But so why not marry her? Okay, so right there, why not marry her? Now, me personally, at this point, it might sound like I'm against marriage, but it's simple because when you do that, you're giving up your leverage. I know, right? Oh no, you should, this, this isn't about control, yada yada. Well, people make it about control. And when you're signing a contract that puts all your assets and money and livelihood on the line, you really need to start second guessing if you really want to get married through the state or not. Okay. And they make it now to where if you, you know, in some states, if you're living with a chick for a certain amount of time, they'll apply those same rules and regulations that the state has through the marriage contract on the couple that didn't even sign the marriage contract. So you still be paying if y'all break up, paying alimony and shit. And given how in today's days, you know, when you're look at you know <clears throat> when you look at the statistics excuse me a little foggy right now but when you look at the statistics women are initiating divorce at an 80 percent rate out of all the marriages 80 percent of them all the divorces initiated by women statistically this is this ain't even you know it's just some talking point this is just a fact so knowing this information, him having a woman that has his back and everything's good and he has, you know, shit how he wants it to be. When they when they ask you, well, why didn't you marry her? It's because they want you to give up that leverage. Hmm? So why not marry her? Oops, she's I don't believe in marriage. I don't I'm not getting married to nobody. I, but that's that's because that's and I'm honest with myself because I, that's because of my trauma. You know what I'm saying? That's because of everything that I've been through in my life. And 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 yeah, and I, he, he don't want to get married and have some chick do him dirty. Even though once you pipe the chick down and and you know you you got kids and you taking care of her and everything, that's your wife anyway. Whether you want to believe it or not, you ain't gotta sign no license to have that woman as your wife. But I'm, let's a, get I'm back afraid to this. of that part. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I don't want to take that route. I don't want that for my life. I don't want that for my for my energy or my emotions. You know what I'm saying? So Look at their facial I'm expressions. Not really a, a big emotionally triggered person, but I don't like. 
feeling like somebody can take some shit from him. So yeah, you know I mean? see, see how he said that. He don't like feeling like somebody can take some shit from him. So because and, of and your I, trauma, that's something, that's something that I've been very vocal with so her about. So how does she feel? She want to get married, or she just along hey, the ride with you? Here, here we go. How does she feel about that? Once again, it's about leverage. She's she along for the ride. She, she, she's in a state where she feel like she just want to be with me. You know what I mean? She ain't. She ain't. She don't care about the whole Mary aspect. She just want to be in my life. Yeah, women say that. But so you're because of your trauma, you're going to put her that. You're gonna put her through her, that. I'm not putting. Her, I'm not putting her through nothing. I'm yeah, not they're just in a relationship. You know, they're not I'm making put shit. On the table. She's making a choice. Oh, that's cute. That's, that's cute. You hear that? You hear that shit? Listen. If, if your chick is trying to pressure you into some shit that you don't want to be a part of, don't fucking be with that bitch. Because obviously she has an ulterior motive. Now, his woman isn't pressuring him, but these women are trying to pressure him into doing some shit that even his own woman ain't even trying to pressure him into. Notice that shit. Because for them, it's about fucking leverage. If she want to wake up tomorrow, if she want to exit... I will proceed with my day just as far as. How would you feel? You wouldn't feel no type of way if she just. I'm not emotionally triggered like people, like most people are. I don't get triggered by certain things. She leaves tomorrow. I'm going to be fine. Everything that you said tonight is emotional, though, bro. How? Very. (laughs) The word triggered, you feel. All that. That's oh my gosh. Well, here's the thing. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with a man having emotions or feeling away. The man doesn't want to deal with no bullshit. That's essentially. I understand what he's saying. He don't want no bullshit going down. He doesn't want to put himself in a position to where he's going to be in an extreme negative. He doesn't want someone to use something you know to hang that shit over his head like how many men are in marriages now and their women are putting them through the ringer and they can't do nothing because if they leave they're going to lose everything this is why i hate the state sanctioned marriage that we have now they need to change the marriage laws but they're not trying to do that shit because it benefits the women and seeing how they're real big in the politics and shit yeah I'm just saying I ain't trying to be all doom and gloom about it but yeah all right and this this also kind of ties into a conversation that I was having not too long ago when um they say uh, person I was talking to right saying that relationships work best when the woman has control which is utter bullshit because once a woman has leverage, she has car, you know, she she has the gall to do whatever the fuck she wants to do, because she know that you can't leave without losing everything that you own. She, you know what I'm saying? And then mother, like it, it goes it goes deep. It's fucking deep, bro. How mothers raise their sons? How you know these women are raised to? take advantage of the men and dog they men out how chicks could be in your face you know screaming and yelling at you embarrassing you in public and shit and you just not supposed to say nothing you're not supposed to do nothing you're not supposed to stay on your square you're not supposed to do shit because the threat of divorce is looming above your head well you do this i'll just leave Or they do, you know, they do anything to try to fucking leverage some shit over you. You pissed her off? Well, guess what? You ain't gonna be having sex for the next fucking four or five years. You better not be caught jerking off or nothing. Like, little stupid, petty shit like that. You all stressed out and everything. And then what you do? You leave and you lose all your shit. Some dudes even lost their businesses in the process. Like it, it, it gets, it gets horrible. Men have been getting abused. So this dude right here, he got something working for him. He's not bound by the marriage contract. He's got his woman. He's working. He's getting his CDL. He's trying to, you know, put himself in a better position in life. And these chicks are trying to buck break him. 
into putting himself in a negative. Because when they're divorcing at an 80% rate, because they can, you are in a negative position. Well, let's continue with this. Because I'm aware. If you're not emotionally triggered, so what's the risk of getting married for you? And then they act like that's what's the doesn't. Risk? They what? act like I, we what's just the? we just talked about the risk, and they know the risk. They know the risk. This is complete bullshit that they're doing right here. But let's listen to them. What's the risk of getting married if you're not emotionally triggered. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to get married. I don't want to sign that. I don't want to do none of that stuff. I don't. I'm not into that. Get a prenup. I don't. I don't I, it's certain things that I believe in, and I'm and I'm and I'm on it. I'm standing on it, just like how y'all believe in marriage, and y'all standing on how y'all move with y'all marriages and more and morals and stuff. I feel about how I feel. It's for me. It makes me mm -hmm. feel. Happy. Well, he where he fucking up is he's he's explaining himself. I wouldn't be explaining myself to none of them. I want what I want. Fuck you. <laughs> that's it I don't want to get married not right now not with the way this climate is looking and then what they do is they'll get you by acting all nice at first they probably even they probably fuck you the way you want to be fucked let's just be real they give you all type of pussy they let you do whatever the fuck you want to do you you chilling you good you feel you feeling great you like man she she respect me she treat me right everything i think i'm gonna marry her then you put the ring on it and now all of a sudden things need to change and now she got the power she got the control and now you all stressed out in your own fucking house Happy makes me feel good. You want kids? I respect. I got kids. I got three. You got three daughters? I got three daughters. Then you're good. What are the benefits of not being married? Everything. Every fucking thing. Everything. At least I have control over my finances. If she want to leave, she can just leave and I ain't got to worry about losing my shit. You know what I mean? That's a start. So what? What are the benefits of not being married? I'm not bound to the, the things of marriage. Which are? Monogamy? I'm not bound to. I'm not bound to nothing. I'm, 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 no, no, I'm no. Free I, to I do whatever I... I'm saying what are those things specifically? It could also be if this woman is pulling some bullshit, he can just get a new woman. He don't have to go through a whole divorce process. <laughs> or everything else that comes with that shit. Like. Yeah, I, I, I'm not even going to say that. Fuck it. Let's, let's just leave that be. Just know that any single dude, if a chick pull that none for you tonight. They gonna hit her with the Reverend X, the Corey Holcomb. I'll just go up the street type shit. We we already know what's up, but um, he probably didn't want to say that part. What are we bound to? I don't have to. I don't have to do the things that I don't have to. I don't. I'm. It's, I'm not with cheating. It's nothing. Me. What I do is not cheating. See. See. I'm, I, I'm not with cheating. So if his woman is acting up. He could get with a new chick immediately. No issues. That's what he's talking about. Just like how a chick got a dude on the side and could just hop on him anytime they want. Yeah, that's what he's talking about. Like, there, there's, there's no need to, you know, even sugarcoat the shit. He don't want his chick running game on him. And he want to be able to have a backup just in case. Let's just be blunt here. All right. Now, me personally, I would say if it's really that bad, just break up with her and find someone new. You don't need a backup. But I feel where he coming from. <laughs> Shit, because 
some dudes just be going through droughts i say this use the drought to better yourself and to build upon what it is that you should have been building upon when you was getting treated like shit by that woman that you was being treated like shit by you know sometimes you probably just need to take a break you know leave them bitches alone focus on you you know what i mean Okay. You can have, you can have multiple knows. women, and, and you you don't have to be monogamous and still be married. You said what? Monogamy you can still you can still be married and not monogamous. Yeah, I'm not signing nothing to nobody. Well, you don't. Yeah, he don't want to be tied down. You don't have to do that either. Though. It could be a, a spiritual connection. If that's what y'all want, if that's what she want to call, and they want to call it, that's fine. But I'm never calling Look, it. Po polyamory or polygamy. Excuse me. Polygamy and uh, what he talking about is two different things. I know what he's talking about. He don't want to be tied down. He don't want to feel like he has to be or he's forced to be with a chick if they're doing him dirty. He does not want to be forced to stay with somebody that's treating him like dog shit. That's what it all boils down to. He want to be like, all right, bitch, you want to act like that? Fuck you. And he want to be gone and have his other chick. That's what he want to be like. It's just that damn simple. In case it, you know, it wasn't obvious already. This for my life. This for my life. It may not be for y'all. And what's going on in my situation, we good. So. And you say you have yeah. kids. You say yeah. you have three girls. Three girls. Yeah. Three girls. Bringing up. Oh, he got kids. Yeah. The wedding. Do you think your lifestyle, your your daughters would look at that as like a positive healthy influence using yeah, his daughters against both him sides. i don't i don't hold my daughters to nothing i don't make them believe nothing i don't train them on, on nothing to, I, I, I give them so what do you teach freedom. them when it comes what do you to teach the, yeah, yeah see them. using his kids against them bro all right I, i'm fucking done man look and of course the title is, is I'm sorry for who hurt you because they use that shit as a shaming tactic. The look on these chicks face is just crazy to me. Um, also, this video is from Anton Daniels. Go ahead and subscribe to him. Check out his content. But I really wanted to say this shit. One, back to what I was talking about. Don't put yourself in a negative position. Okay, if getting if you you're unsure about this chick and everything seems too good to be true, do not get fucking married to that bitch. Don't. Okay, be be mindful of what type of game she running, and wait as long as you fucking need to, because they'll eventually show their true colors. But there is a bunch of fucking chameleons out here, so you gotta be watchful for that. I wouldn't even advocate for signing that damn contract anyway. Because your business, your personal assets, and your money and everything else is all on the fucking line. Okay, especially in today's world where women believe that the woman should be in charge for there to be a relationship when that's not even biblically accurate. Two, okay, don't be explaining yourself to no bitch. Period. This is what I want. Why? This is just what I want. Don't even waste your time fucking arguing. Because they're going to be pissed off and they're going to try to buck break you and shame you into doing what it is that they want you to do. Period. It's that damn simple. They're even going as far as to bring up his daughters and try to, like, you know, use his daughters as a means to get him to change what it is that he's doing. Because they don't like what he's doing. It was about leverage to begin with, like I said at the beginning of the video. Oh, he got too much power. He shouldn't be doing that. She shouldn't be in the position where he can make decisions. It's that damn simple. Oh, well, it's number three. Well, actually, I don't even think I have a third point aside from like Kiki Palmer being a confirmed strag. And that whole ordeal with her and Darius. The man can't even. <laughs> Whatever, man. I, 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 this fucking celebrity shit. But when the man is a stay-at-home man, he's a bum. But when a chick is staying at home and being a mom, she's the best mother in the world. Even if she's abusing them babies, 
and treating them like shit because you hate the dad. Like it it is it, it goes all over the fucking place, bro. And then these kids and these, these young boys grow up to be weak because they was trained to be weak and they were trained to be subordinate to women. And now you got dudes co-signing this type of bullshit that you're seeing today. It's all over the place. This shit is fucking annoying. All right. Focus on you. Better yourself. Get your shit up. If you need to, put your assets in the trust. Even a prenup ain't even enough nowadays because the dudes is paying the alimony through the child support. <laughs> Not even the prenup. They just ignore the prenup out altogether. It, it, it is it's stupid. It, it's all fucking stupid. I could continue on with this shit. I could be here all oh, no, no, day. Because you said it's because of your trauma in your past. You're right. Yeah, no, I, 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 right. Always, why is that always the go to for women it's, when y'all talking to well, her? Well, came out of your mouth. I think right, it's her, you literally said. said I didn't I even know what I said. I said. I'm like, I know babe. what I said because so I said it. I'm asking like that. question. Well, well, like we can't talk about me. the other black women, Pharaoh, that has said that. But the only thing we can talk about is what was said here to where why yeah. she referenced that because you said it's because of your trauma in your past. You're right. Look, fuck all that shit she just said about the other black women. She, you're doing exactly what the other black women did. All right, we ain't, we ain't trying to make this shit about black women, but. This is very common in our community. I'll just say that. Okay. Then, you you know, this white dude is leaving the country and just be blunt. In the black community, you got that aggressive ass behavior. And the white community is all passive aggressive and he's sneaky with they shit. You know, we ain't even gonna talk about the manipulative nature, you know, the American Asian woman. Then you got the fucking, what's the name, the Latina. They talk about the crazy spiciness of the Latina. Look, bro. This feminism shit got to stop. That's why niggas is going overseas. It's different. You go overseas, you get respect just because you're a man. It had nothing to do with your money. Got nothing to do with what you did or how you providing for somebody. You are a man, so you get respect as such. Here, you don't get that shit. And people that got their passports see the difference. You can sit and listen to their account. Just saying. Like, I'm, I'm not one to just advocate for division and shit, but in this scenario and a lot of scenarios, if you are in a negative position and you're all stressed out, you know, losing hair and shit, your health is, is waning, you know, and you're in a position to lose all your fucking finances, that that was that's a no-go it's a no-go i'll leave it at that peace